In this exercise, as you can see, I want to make sure that we understand the video container and also video codecs. Now, a lot of people are confused by these two issues, which is why I wanted to include it and why I think it's so important. You may want to get your notepads ready. If you've ever crossed the paths of video codecs or video containers, you may have been left confused. My goal is to make sure that everything is crystal clear within the next few minutes for you. So here we go. Let's get ready here. I want you to, first of all, think of a video as a cardboard box or as a container. The box or the container, that's our video file format. Now, if you've messed around with video before or if you've worked a little bit with video or even if you haven't, what you need to know is that there's a lot of different video file formats. There's tons of them. But you and I are really only concerned with the video file formats that will work as they relate to web design. So as far as web design is concerned, there's only three video formats that you and I are interested in. MP4, WebM, and AUG. That's it. So you might want to jot this down. These are our three video formats. MP4, WebM, and AUG. That's it. Okay? Forget about all the others. Now, the container, those three formats that I just mentioned, they're going to hold the audio and the video track. So a video is going to have at least one video track and it's also going to have at least one audio track, okay? And they are contained inside the container format, either WebM or MP4 or AUG, okay? Now, the audio and the video inside the container are compressed using something called a codec. And I hope for you this is one of those aha moments where maybe the light bulb turns on. So a codec, very simply, is short for coder decoder. And all it is, is a mathematical formula that compresses information, specifically as far as you and I are concerned, audio information and video information. That's it. So a codec makes audio information and video information smaller, and that information gets stuck inside a container. Okay, that's really all there is to it. There are plenty of video and audio codecs. On the video side, there's Theora, for example. There's H.264. There's VP8. On the audio side, there's Vorbis and also AAC. The good news is, is that you can't mix and match all these different audio and video codecs. Only specific codecs are going to work with specific container formats. Check this out. H.264 and AAC will only work with the MP4 container format. VP8 and Vorbis will only work with the WebM format. And over on the left-hand side there, Theora and Vorbis are only going to work with the AUG format. That's all you need to know, really. All right, now, what's the difference between an AUG, an MP4, and a WebM? Well, let's take a closer look at each of these three container formats. Let's take a look at MP4, first of all. It has its roots in the QuickTime format, .mov, which you may have run across. And MP4 is quickly becoming the standard video format as far as providing video in web design. All right, next up, we have WebM. This is comparable in quality to an MP4, but the WebM format or container is an open source format developed by Google. And then last but not least, we have AUG, which provides a larger file size than a WebM file and also an MP4 file, but it is an extra container format that we can make use of. There's our container video formats and also a little bit about video codecs as well. I hope all makes sense now.